for the better ordering and governing of Negro slaves. Introduction During the English Republic, 1641-1660, the English captured the island of Jamaica from the Spanish in 1655. It was a relatively economically unimportant island to the Spanish, but to the English it offered another opportunity to duplicate the success of its other sugar island, Barbados. Many historians have argued that the 1661 Barbados Slave Code was developed on the ground by the settler colonists and served as the basis for other slave codes that developed in the English Atlantic, including the 1664 Jamaica Slave Code featured below. This analysis leans heavily on tracing the movement of people, primarily elite landowners, as they acquired land in different colonies. But often these historians overlook the role that the Crown, royalist sympathizers, and Crown officials played in disseminating the body of codes that encouraged chattel slavery and strictly managed forced labor. While the monarchy was abolished by the English Civil War and during the Interregnum period, English subjects and officials in the far-flung periphery were not as easily removed from power or converted to Republicans. When the English Republic ended in 1660 and Charles II was appointed king, these officials were waiting to resume the royal efforts to craft a labor and economic system that enhanced the crown's power and coffers. Thomas Modiford, the royal governor of Jamaica, consented to this code. Modiford had been a planter slaveholder in the English colony of Barbados and was governor of Jamaica between 1664 and 1671. Following his appointment, he travelled from Barbados to Jamaica, bringing several hundred fellow Bajan planters who accelerated Jamaica's transition to plantation agriculture. It is notable that the end record of this code mentions that the code passed the Colonial Council all appointed by Modiford and was merely signed by the Speaker of the Colonial Assembly, lacking the typical verbiage indicating it was voted on and passed by the Colonial Assembly. As you read through these codes, consider what the regulations within them intend to do. Why are obligations placed on white settlers? What are the punishments outlined in the codes? What do these punishments accomplish? Why are certain offenders given harsher punishments? How do these codes create a demand for slaves? Why would they do so? Lauren Michalak Further reading Sources Cite this page. Download. An act for the better ordering and governing of Negro slaves. Whereas heretofore many good laws and ordinances have been made for the governing regulating and ordering the Negro slaves in this island and sundry punishments appointed for many though I am misdemeanors crimes and offenses which yet have not met the effect hath been desired, and might have reasonably been expected. Had the masters of families and other the inhabitants of this island been so careful of their obedience and compliance with the said laws as they ought to have been and these formal laws being in many clauses imperfect and not fully comprehending the true constitution of this government in relation to their slaves especially the negroes and heathenish brutish and an uncertain and dangerous kind of people to home if surely in anything we may extend the legislative power given us of provisionary laws for the benefit and good of this island not being contradictory to the laws of England there being in all the body of that law no perfect track to guide us where to walk nor any exact rule set us how to govern such slaves as we have or as Negroes are yet we well know by the right rule of reason and order we are not to leave them to the arbitrary cruel and outrageous will of every evil disposed person but so far to protect them as we do men's other goods and chattels and an also somewhat further, as being created men though. Without the knowledge of God in Tice world. We have therefore upon mature and serious consideration of the premises thought good to renew and revive whatsoever we have found necessary and useful in the laws of England concerning the governing and ordering of slaves and to add thereunto such further laws and ordinances as at this time we think ye absolutely needful for the public safety and may prove in the future behoveful to the space and utility of this island. Be it therefore enacted ordained and published and it is by the governor council and assembly of this island and by the authority of the law enacted ordained and publish. On the left margin happy smiley negroes going abroad. That no master 
or mistress, commander, or overseer of any family within this island shall give their slaves leave on Sundays holy days or in the night time to go out of their plantacones, except such slaves as usually wait upon them at home and abroad without a ticket under his master or mistress commander or overseer's hand the said ticket specifying the time of his or her coming from the plantation and the time allowed for his or her return nor at any other time or working days above. 4. Miles from their said plantation without the like ticket upon pains of forfeiting for every slave so permitted to go abroad without the aforesaid ticket one pound sterling half of the said forfeiture to be to the informer and the other half to the sea church wardens to be disposed as is directed in the act for maintenance of ministers. And if any master mistress commander or overseer of a plantacon shall find any slave or slaves in their plantacon on Sunday holy day or the night time or any time. Few miles from their meister's plantation without a ticket expressing the business from his said meister and do not apprehend them or apprehending them shall not punish them by a moderate whipping shall forfeit one pound sterling to be disposed of as aforesaid the said penalties to be recorded before any one justice. Page break. Of the peace of that precinct. Where such default shall be made who is hereby authorized and required upon complaint made to examine upon oath to hear and determine the law and by warrant underhand directed to the constable to cause the said penalty to be levite as in case of servants wages the constable to receive for his pains as in the act for servants is appointed. On the left margin happy smiley too in case negrios strike Christians. It is further enacted and ordained, by the authority aforesaid, that if any slaves either man or woman shall offer any violence to any Christian as by striking or the like such slaves shall for his or her fierce offence by informer con given to the next justice be severely whipped by the next constable by order of the next justice, for his second offence of that nature by order of the justice of the peace, he shall be severely whipped, his nose slit and he burned in some part of his face, and four. His thyrd offence he shall receive by order of the governor and counsel such greater corporal punishment as they shall think he meet to inflict providing always that such striking or conflict be not in the lawful defence of the I master's mistress or owners of the I families or of the I goods. On the left margin happy smiley three negroes to have clothes. And it is further enacted, ordained and published by the authority aforesaid that the slaves shall have clothes to cover the eye naked, nakedness, unclear. Once every year, that is to say, drawers and caps for men and petticoats for women. On the left margin happy smiley for a fugitive and runaway negroes. And, whereas the inhabitants of this island have much suffered by the running away of their slaves and by the injurious keeping of such runaway or fugitive slaves by several persons in their plantacons it is hereby enacted, published, and declared by the authority aforesaid that all persons who are now possessed of any fugitive or runaway slaves do within six days after the publication of this act, except the inhabitants, unclear, the north side who are allowed thyrty days, bring them in and, Deli ever them to their proper owners if they know them or into the custody of the marshal or gola nearest to the plantacon where such slaves or slaves so are apprehended upon pains of paying one hundred pounds sterling for damage unto the owner of the said slave to be by the said owner recovered in any courts of record within this island by action of debt or informacon in which new own protection in Yunkan. Or wager of law shall be permitted or allowed. And if any Christian servant so possessed of any such slave or slaves not acquainting his master thereof do fail or neglect to bring them in within the time before limited is before enioined. The said servant shall immediately upon conviction thereof receive thirty-nine. Lashes upon his naked back by order from the next justice of the peace to some constable or the common executor, and after the expiracon of his time of service shall serve the owner of the said slave or slaves the full term and space of seven years as, and, a record thereof, to be made by the justice before whom such conviction shall be had. And further it is enacted by the authority aforesaid that all overseers of plantacons do twice in every week search the I a slaves' houses for runaway slaves and what overseers shall neglect to do the same shall forfeit one pound sterling for every default the one half to the informer the other half to the public use etc. Page break. On the left margin happy smiley, unclear word, 
the two Negroes. And be it further enacted by the authority aforesaid, that whosoever hereafter shall take up any runaway slave or slaves that such persons shall within one and twenty days after bring the said runaways to his or their proper owner or to the next marshal or goal as aforesaid, up and pain of forfeiture for every day he shall keep such negroes or negro beyond the said one and twenty days and thereafter be convicted by confession or verdict the, unclear, of twenty pounds sterling to be. Levite by the, unclear, provost. Marshal or his deputy by order from the governor for the time being upon the person so neglecting to bring the said runaway up in his land's goods or chattels the one half thereof to be to the owner of the said slave or slaves and the other to him or them that shall inform thereof out of which the said marshal's fees shall be deducted. And if the said person or persons informing be servant or servants to the party so detaining the said slaves that then the said person or persons so informing shall be from thenceforth absolutely free and clear from his service any indenture or by wage to the contrary notwithstanding and whosoever shall work the said slave or slaves during the aforesaid one and twenty days shall forfeit twenty pounds sterling to be paid and recovered as aforesaid. Left margin, obscured, for taking up runaways. And it is further enacted by the authority aforesaid that all persons which shall hereafter take up any runaway or fugitive slaves and shall so bring them unto the said next marshal or goal shall receive one pound sterling of the said marshal who is hereby appointed to pay the same. And in case he shall refuse to make the said payment up in the presentment, delivery, of the said slave and thereof oath be made before any justice of the peace the said justice of the peace is hereby authorized to direct his warrant to any constable to cause the value thereof to be immediately levite out of the goods for the said marshal, treasurer, and the said goods be delivered to the said party. Left margin, Negroes, duties to be, tatisid, detained. And be it further enacted by the authority aforesaid that it shall and may be lawful for the said marshal to detain and keep in custody the bodies of all such runaways until the owner of them or their apucnies, unclear, shall pay unto him one pound two shillings and six pence sterling and also six pence sterling for every four and twenty hours the said fugitive slave hath been in his custody provided always that the said prue, unclear, mayor shall do furnish the said negro with sufficient food and drink as potatoes grains, unclear. Plantains and water. And it is further provided and ordained by the authority aforesaid that if any of the said slaves shall die for want of food or dry and convenient lodgings, the said marshal shall be responsible for them to the owner or his. Apuins, unclear. And if the said marshal shall suffer any sleeve to escape before he be duly delivered to the owner or his apuins, unclear. Then the said marshal shall pay unto the owner of the said slave so much as he shall be censured and condemned to by the governor and counsel for the time being or by verdict of a jury at common law. And further it is ordained and enacted by the authority aforesaid that all such persons as shall apprehend and bring any runaways to any marshal for the time being or to the prison shall up and such bringing down such runaway slaves deliver unto the said marshal before he shall receive the consideracon before appointed an account of his owner name and place of abode with the time when and place where he apprehended such fugitive slave which the said marshal is hereby required to take and enter into a book to the intent that all owners of such slaves may come to the Page break. Obscured, approximate seven words, top of page cut OFF, when the IA slaves were apprehended and, unclear, home and whether they might wrongfully be taken up or not and that the sleep, keep, of the prison at the delivery of any slaves do take a, unclear, the person to home delivered and therein to insert the mark or description of, unclear, Negro delivered any usage or custom to the contrary heretofore heard, unclear, wise, wife, Notwithstanding. On the left margin, search to be made for Negro weapons. And it is hereby further enacted and published by the authority aforesaid that every overseer of a family in this island shall cause all his Negro slaves' houses to be searched diligently and effectually once every fourteen days for clubs, wooden swords, and mischievous weapons, and finding any to take them away and cause them to be burned. On the left margin, Search for Stalin goods. 
and also for clothes goods or any other things or commodities particularly suspected flesh that is not given them by their master mistress commander or overseer and honestly come by, in whose custody they find anything of that kind suspect or know to be stolen goods the same they shall seize and take into their custody and a full and ample description of the particulars thereof in writing within six days after the discovery thereof to send to the clerk of the parish, for the time being who is hereby required to receive the same and to enter up in it the day of its receipt and the particulars to file and keep to himself but to set up upon the post of the church door a short brief that such lost goods are found whereby any person that hath lost his goods may the better come to the knowledge where it is by further inquiry of the clerk who is not to show the particulars until the parties inquiring for stolen goods shall first declare what he hath lost, and given the description thereof, and paid him twelve pence for the same by which if the said clerk shall be convinced that any part of the goods obtains to the party inquiring he is to direct the said party inquiring to the place and person where the goods be who is hereby required to make restitucon of what is in being to the true owner upon the penalty of the forfeiture of two pounds sterling for every neglect by the overseer or clerk as aforesaid in any of the particulars to be levite up in their goods and chattels for the breach of either of those two last clauses in this branch by precept or warrant from the judge or justice before home the convicant shall be head, had, the one half of the forfeit, unclear, aforesaid to go to the church wardens of the respective parishes. To be, unclear, disposed of as aforesaid, the other half to the person that shall inform. On the left margin, twelve, unclear, for negroes to take up runaway negroes. And that all other slaves likewise may receive encouragement to take up fugitive and runaway slaves it is further ordained and enacted by the authorities aforesaid that whatsoever slaves shall at any time of his own accord take up any runaway slave that hath been out above twelve months shall have for his so doing two pounds sterling to be paid by the wire owner if he will redeem him within one month after notice during which time the master of the slave, that took up such runaway of power to keep him for the purpose aforesaid. But if the owner of the said runaway slave will not or doth not redeem him within the said time then the master in whose custody he is of hereby power to sell the aforesaid fugitive or runaway slave and to reserve two pounds sterling to himself for his slave and the rest to return to the master of the slave so taken up and whosoever shall deprive or deceive any slave that hath so taken up any fugitive of the boon or reward given him by this law for so doing shall forfeit six pounds sterling one third to the church wardens one-third to the informer. Page break. And one-third to the slave so wronged. Which gift and forfeiture shall be justly employed by the master of the slave in clothes for the said slaves to weigh with a badge of a red cross on his arm whereby he may be known and cherished by all good people for his good service to the country the aforesaid forfeiture to be recovered by him that shall sue for it in any court of record by akin of debt or informicon in which no assoying protocon in inicon or wager of law shall be allowed. On the left margin, 13, obscured, stealing away of negroes. And whereas divers evil disposed persons have heretofore attempted to steal away slaves by specious pretenses and promising them freedom in another country against, which pernicious practice new punishment suitable hath been yet provided. Be it therefore enacted and ordained by the authority aforesaid that what persons so shall directly or indirectly at any time after public can hereof tempt or persuade any negro to leave the eye masters or mistresses service to home they are slaves out of an intent and design to carry away any of them out of this island or howsoever to defraud the eye said master or mistress of them and be thereof convicted by the eye own confession or the oath of two credible witnesses or by the confession of such negro slave or negroes with reasonable circumstances concurring shall be by the governor of the island for the time being, or by any judge of record or any two justices of the peace adjudged. To pay to the master of the said slave or slave sixty pounds sterling, by precept. Or warrant from the aforesaid governor, judge or justices before whom the conviction is made to be Levite upon the land's goods or chattels of the person so offending by such constable to whom the aforesaid warrant shall be directed and delivered to the party grieved by way of damage. And the surplusage, if any, shall be returned to the owner and in case the party offending shall not be found worth land's goods or chattels to the value aforesaid then shall the said governor, 
judge or justice adiad him servant to the party inyad for seven years, and so deliver him over to him and make record thereof. But if any man shall so tempt and practice with any slaves and them actually so tempted convey, carry or send off the island and be after apprehended in the island for the same he shall be by the governor and consul for the time being condemned to pay the owner of such slaves three times the value of them. An execucon. For the same from the governor to issue accordingly unto the provost marshal or his deputy. On the left margin, 15, obscured, trial of negroes for murder and felons. And whereas many heinous and grievous crimes as murder, burglary and robbery upon the highway burning of houses or canes be many times committed by slaves, which offenders for danger of escape are not long to be imprisoned being brutish slaves deserve not for the basinies of their conducans to be trite by the legal trial of twelve of their peers or neighbourhood, which neither truly can be rightly done, as the freemen of England are, nor is execucon to be delayed towards them in case of such horrid crimes committed. It is therefore enacted, ordained and published by the governor, consul and assembly and by the authority of the same, that when any such crime as aforesaid shall be committed by any slave or slaves and the said criminals be apprehended and brought before any of his mates, majesties, justices of the peace were in the island, the justice before whom the criminals are brought shall take security for the eye of forthcoming or send them to, unclear. And with all convenient speed shall by their warrant or precept call to them three able. Page break. Good and low all freeholders of the place nearest where the said crime was committed and these five persons, viz., the two justices and the three freeholders shall hear and aim, all evidence proofs and testimonies of the fact committed and if they shall find such slave or slaves guilty thereof, they shall give sentence of death upon him or them accordingly as is provided by law of such capital offenders, the said freeholders being first sworn before the two justices who are hereby empowered. To administer the law, same, and forthwith by the eye warrant cause execucon to be done upon such slave or slaves by the common execucona or by what other execucona can be got, slave or other, and it is further provided that if any freeholder shall make default to app, appear, upon such summons before the justices as is before menkind or apping, appearing, refuse to sign, sign, with them as before is appointed and so show. No good cause for such default to be approved by the said justices that then the aforesaid justices set a fine upon him of five pounds, sterling and forthwith by their warrant or precept to the next constable or what constable they shall think he fit to leave either same up in the aforesaid freeholders his goods or chattels accordingly. Provided always never feels that the on the left margin, fifteen all petty felons by negroes how to be trite. Petty felons under the value of twelve pence, and all small broils. And misdemeanors shall be heard and determined by the master of the slave or slaves committing the same upon the complaint of the party inured. But if such master shall not give such slaves punishment in the presence of the complaint to his satisfaction, the party inured shall carry his complaint to the next justice of the peace who is hereby required and authorized to hear the same, and upon conviction by confession, witnesses, or oath of the party inured to inflict such corporal pains or punishments not inurious to life, limb, or member, as he in his discretion shall judge fit and reasonable, and whereas several petty larcenies and trespasses are daily committed by slaves as in maiming one the other killing of horses or cattle stealing of horses and divers others of like nature which would be too tedious and chargeable to take ordinary course of justice against them. For the more speedy proceeding therein for the future be it enacted and ordained by the authority aforesaid that upon complaint made to any of his majesty's justices of the peace dwelling in the parish where the offence is committed the said justice shall issue his warrant for the apprehending the slave or slaves complained of and for all persons that can give evidence against them, and if upon examination it doth probably ap appear that the said slave or slaves are guilty of the crimes complained of that the said justice is to certify the same to the justice dwelling next to him, and to desire him by virtue of this act, to associate himself to him, which such justice is hereby required on such desire to do.
and both of them so associated are to issue out the I assumens to three sufficient freeholders of the said parish where the fact complained of was committed acquainting them with the said matter and appointing them a day hour and place where and when the same shall be heard and determined by the judgment of the said freeholders and themselves or the major part of them at which day hour and place the said justices and freeholders shall require and cause all the said offenders and evidences against them to be produced. And if they shall up in the said evidence or confession of the said offender or offenders adage them guilty of the part complained of they shall then condemn the owner or owners of the said offender or offenders respectively to make reparation and satisfaction to the complaint for the damage which he hath wrecked, rent, which if the said owner or owners shall refuse to make according to his or their proportion by the said justices and freeholders or the majorate, majority, page break, of them are judged and appointed, then in such case the said offending slave or slaves belonging to such owner or owner so refusing shall first receive such corporal punishment as the said judges shall think he fit and after be awarded to the said party inured. To have and to hold the said slave to him and his heirs forever, and in case the said justice and freeholders or any or either of them shall neglect or refuse to perform the higher duties which by this act is required of them they shall severally for such their respective defaults forfeit the kist. Quantity of fifty pounds sterling one half to our sovereign lord the king his heirs and successors and the other half to the party aggrieved if he shall prosecute for the same in the court of the permits where the default is made or elsewhere. On the left margin, Negro rebels to be, unclear, martial law. And it is further enacted ordained and published by the governor council and assembly and by the authority of the same that if any negro shall make insurrection or rise in rebellion against this place or people or make preparation of arms powder, bullets or offensive weapons or hold any council or conspiracy for rising. Mutinies or rebellion in this island as hath been formerly attempted that for speedy remedy thereof the governor of the island or superior officer for the time being shall appoint a field officer and so commission officers out of the respective regiments of this island or any four of them, the field officer to be one to meet in council and proceed by martial law against the actors contrivers raisers fomenters and counsellors. of such munity and rebellion and them punish by death or some other pains as the higher crimes shall deserve and as to the aforesaid field officer commission officers or any four of them shall seem fit and that new master mistress or commander of a family shall be affrighted by fear of loss to search into and discover the higher own slaves so evilly intended. It is therefore enacted and ordained that the loss of slaves executed shall be borne by the public, and when the present treasury is not sufficient to satisfy the loss, a public levi shall be presently made upon the inhabitants for a reparation of the same. On the left margin, 17 for the apprehending of runaways. And whereas divers slaves at this present, are and long time have been run away into the woods and other fastnees, of the island doing continually much mischief to several inhabitants of this island hiding sometimes in one place and sometimes in another so that with much difficulty they are to be found unless by some sodame sudden attempt or surprise be it therefore ordained and enacted that from and after public aken hereof it shall and may be lawful for any justice of peace constable or captain of a company within this island, that shall have notice of the residence or hiding place of any runaway slaves, fugitives, or outlaws to rise and arm any number of men, not exceeding twenty, to apprehend and take them either live or dead and for every slave which they shall take alive having been run away from his master above six. Manus they shall receive five pounds sterling from the owner master or commander of the said slaves, but if killed they shall receive the five pounds from the public. On the left margin, 18 the killing of negroes intentionally and willfully. And it is further enacted and ordained by the authority aforesaid that if any slaves under punishment by his master or his order for running away or any other crime or misdemeanor towards his said master shall suffer in life or in member new person whatsoever shall be accountable to any law therefore but if any man shall of wantonness or only bloody minded and cruel intent can willfully kill a slave if his own he shall pay unto the king his heirs, and successors thirty pounds sterling. But if. Page break. He shall so kill another man's he shall so pay to the owner of the slave double the value and unto our sovereign lord the king his heirs and successors fifty pounds sterling, 
and he shall further by the next justice of the peace be bound to the good behavior during, the pleasure of the governor and counsel and not be liable to any other punishment or forfeiture for the same. Neither shall he that kills another man's slave by accident be liable to any other penalty but the owner's akin at law but if any poor man's small freeholder or other person shall kill a slave by night out, of the road and common path or stealing his provision. Swine or other goods he shall not be accountable for it any law statute or ordinance to the contrary notwithstanding. On the left margin, for listing of runaway negroes. And to the intent it may be always certainly now which, Negroes, are out in rebellion against the higher owners and to the endangering the, public. Peace it is by the authority aforesaid enacted and ordained that all owners of slaves within this island do within ten days after public a can hereof send an account to the secretary for the time being what slave or slaves he hath fled and run away and of the time they have been gone and so for the time to come within ten days after any slave shall. Absent himself from his service under penalty of paying ten pounds sterling the one half whereof to be to our sovereign lord the king his heirs and successors and the other half to the informer to be recovered. By him that shall sue for it in any court of record by action of debt or informacon in which new assoin protecon injunction or wager of law shall be permitted or allowed. On the left margin, twenty the marshal shall give notice of all negroes committed. Be it further enacted and ordained by the authority aforesaid that the marshal shall at all times hereafter upon the commitment of any negro or negroes to his or his deputies custodies give notice by, certificate, under his hand to be affixed upon posts in the most public and, unclear, places at Port Royal and St. Catharines and shall in the said certificate give description of the said negroes marks as also as near as he can now. How long the said negroes have been absent from the wire? Masters Planticon with the higher names that notice may be given to the inhabitants of each parish of all such Negroes and that upon neglect so committed by the, said, Marshal or his deputy or deputies he or they shall forfeit the sum, of five pounds sterling for every such default as aforesaid to be, unclear. In any court of record the one half to be paid unto our sovereign lord king his heirs and successors and the other half to the complaint. On the left margin. 21 The yearly publication of this Act. Safety and the intent of this Act and every clause and branch thereof may receive full execucon and new person plead ignorance therein it is ordained and enacted by the authority aforesaid that this Act be read and published in all respective parish churches in this island the first Sunday in March and the first Sunday in September in every year ensuing the date and first publication thereof. Passed the council the second till. Hibbs Hibbs phone speaker. Of November 1664. P.E. Pew secretary I consent to this. Though, modified. 